And here to continue our coverage on Austin's homeless policy is Mayor Steve Adler and Travis County GOP Chairman Matt Makoviak. Thank you both for being here. Good to be here. Pleasure. Thank you. Mayor, there are a lot of Austinites who are concerned about how the homeless situation is being handled. Concerns ranging from the rollback on ordinances to the South Austin Homeless Shelter. How do you feel t uh, today's town hall went? I thought it was really good. I mean, obviously a large group of people. We have people all over the community that are really concerned about this issue. Uh, and, and quite frankly, I think that most of us are really close to the same page. I think that no one wants anybody to be camping anywhere in our city. Uh, and the question is, how, what's the best, place to, best way to be able to get there? Uh, we have people in our city only concerned about people, others only concerned about places, but most people are concerned about both. Uh, and I think that the ultimate answer is we have to have more places for these folks to be able to go. Uh, we've, we've, we've tried a policy that they tried for years in L.A. and Seattle of, of moving people around. Uh, but when we go to someone and say, you can't be here, and, and she gathers all her stuff together and, and says, please don't arrest me, please don't ticket me, I want to comply, where do you want me to go? We have to have an answer to that question uh, other than just move to the neighborhood next door or the street next, uh, next block over. Uh, so I think that if as a community, and I think it's been great that, that the community now is really engaged in this issue, we have to find places for people to go. We have to increase housing and then the services in those housing so that we can actually pull people off the street. Matt, you've started a petition uh, to get these uh, ordinances, uh, the changes anyway, repealed. What are your thoughts on how today's meeting went? Well, let me start by saying I appreciate the Downtown Austin Alliance for putting the town hall together. I understand the logistics of these kind of events is not easy. Uh, and I think there were 700 people there. It was impressive for the middle of the day. Uh, I was not all that encouraged with the substance of the meeting, and I don't know that I learned very much having followed it closely uh, over the last few months. You know, we, as you mentioned, we do have this petition at SaveAustinNowPetition.com. We have 27,000 signatures of people that do want to see the homeless camping ordinance repealed. Uh, it's not because they don't care about homeless people. It's because they don't don't think this policy is good for our city, not good for standard of living, uh, not good for our community, that there are public health risks, public safety risks. Uh, we heard from the Downtown Austin Alliance bo Board Vice Chair that it is affecting tourism in terms of conventions and, and uh, business meetings that do not want to come to Austin because of this. So uh, part, of, part of what I'm kind of interested in seeing is that we spend about $30 million a year now. Uh, it's been proposed to double that to $60 million. I think taxpayers just want to know where's that money going to go uh, and how soon can we have housing for the population that we need. We cannot continue with this policy of allowing homeless people to go anywhere they want in public uh, because it creates problems, certainly downtown, but also in the neighborhoods. And so we've got to find a way to undo that while we also rapidly build the housing. Mayor, why weren't town hall meetings like today specific to the issue of homelessness, the ordinances, uh, a, sh a shelter? Why were, why were not any held prior to the council making these decisions? Oh, my goodness. We had meetings on this for years leading up to this. Uh, you know, I was in neighborhood association meetings all over the city for the last, the last four or five years. Uh, we've had people uh, complain about not bringing conventions here for, for years on this. I've been to town hall meetings in in, in, in the neighborhoods. This is not a new problem that we have. This is not a new situation. We didn't create any new uh, folks experiencing homelessness in June. Uh, this is a challenge that has been with us and we have never really done what it takes to actually fix it. What we have been doing is we've just been moving people experiencing homelessness from one place to another place to another place and that does not solve the problem. We know that because we watched LA and Seattle do it for decades until they had, you know, six Six, eight, ten times as many folks experiencing homelessness. We have to do better in Austin. Uh, this is not new, and there have been lots of conversations about this with lots of people. Okay, let me be more specific because homelessness has been a problem for quite some time. Obviously, sure. you have been discuss discussing it, but why weren't there town hall meetings specifically about rolling back these ordinances and specifically about the location of the South Austin homeless shelter? Well, the first conversations about changing the ordinances, and, and remember, there have never been any rules about camping, sitting, lying outside of downtown. So we changed no rules about camping, sitting, lying outside of downtown. But 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 looking at these ordinances and discussing rolling back came out of an audit that uh, the city uh, announced two years ago. So the community discussion has been going on at least for two years about those ordinances in particular. We didn't roll them all back. We kept them fully in 
force for, for public safety risks and for public health hazards. But what it really goes to, if we want to actually do something about homelessness in this city, and I desperately do because we don't want people camping anywhere in this city. The question is, if you don't want them camping anywhere in this city, is it better to just shuffle them around or is it better to actually take them off the streets and there is only one answer uh, to that question and and that's where our community needs to get engaged now I am tired of wasting millions of taxpayer dollars just moving people around the city I can't do it anymore none of us should be willing to spend taxpayer dollars that way anymore we actually have to do something our, that works we are running out of time but Matt I'm gonna give you the final thought what do you want to see happen well, we've seen uh, instruction from the council and the mayor to the city staff saying, we, please identify specific locations where people can camp as a bridge between where we are now and where we want to be. The city manager's office has said we're not going to do that. And so that, that's a problem because it would be much better to have five or six specific locations. That way the public knows that's where camping will occur. Police can focus in those areas if there are health issues or safety issues. So I just I would ask the mayor and the council to strongly consider taking back these changes to the camping ordinance downtown. Let's go back to where we were before, identify specific locations where people can camp, and then let's ramp up the housing. And we need to have community input because there has been a lot of concern in South Austin about the location right. of that, that shelter. And I I imagine this will be a continuing discussion. Mayor Adler, Matt Makoviak, thank you both for coming in and sharing your perspectives with us tonight. Thank Thanks. you for the opportunity.